Hello everyone. Let's talk about a scenario wherein you want to create a chatbot for your online store. You are having a website wherein you are selling some products, but your business is not of that huge size. You are owning a business which is of mid-size, I would say. Then how can you create a chatbot with limited set of uh, data and the limited configurations? So just for the context, in my one of the earlier videos, I spoke about how can you create a chatbot for a very small size business. So this was the video in which I spoke about a chatbot without any embedding or fancy libraries. So if you are having a very small size business, then you can just refer this video and get started. But if you are having a mid size business, then definitely you may be having lot many products and you cannot just pass entire product description as a context. So in that case, we will be going through semantic search on our embedding and we'll see what are the relevant documents or the relevant products which we can pass uh, to the LLM. So let's see how we can. So I'm on my VS code and the very first thing you need to take care uh, is about prerequisites. So the very first prerequisite is you should have an Azure OpenAI instance created and the required model deployed. So in my case, I'm using GPT-3.5 Turbo with 16K and I'm also having my data ready in the form of CSV. So whatever the product details I'm having, I just pushed into a CSV file and that same CSV file I will be using as a source for my LLM. So let's see how we can get started. So once everything is in place, we need to read the configuration. So my configuration is in the configuration.env file. So it holds my API key, API version, type of API, then the endpoint, my model, all these things are already part of my configuration. So that's the reason you are not seeing it hard coded over here. So once these things are in, we can use .NET ENV and get those values read. Then we are creating a client object. So client object can be created using Azure OpenAI and it will take three key parameters, which is API key, version and the endpoint. So once these three are ready, we can go ahead and create our client object. Next thing is I have written a function for generating the embedding. So whatever the text I'm passing, it will just generate the embedding based on my embedding model. So you also make sure that you are defining the correct embedding model, which is deployed in your Azure OpenAI. So I'm going to run this as well. Let's close this. Okay, then we have the completion call. So how we are going to make a call to our LLM. So for that, I have written just few more lines of code. And in this, I'm saying, client.chat.completions and under create we will be passing messages like I said it's a conversational app so definitely we need to provide the roles and who is saying what so messages is nothing but it's a collection of the role and the respective content so in our case it would be user assistant as well as the system and then the model configuration is the one which is like I said GP35 Turbo 16k and once this call is made, it will return the response and here we will get it. So let me execute this particular function as well. Okay, now next thing is reading the input data. So this is the file which I have kept in my local directory. So I need not to provide the path. But if you're in your case, if it is not in your local directory, then make sure that you are reading it with the correct path. And then in this uh, CSV, I have lot many columns, but the ones which I'm interested in are just these five columns, product name, product brand, gender, price, and the primary color of the product. And once these are done, what I'm doing is I'm generating a new column text, which is having the collective information of all of these. So let me run this and I can show you in a while how it looks like. Okay, and in next statement, what I'm doing is uh, I'm generating the embedding for the text column, which is having the combined information. And this is how I'm making a call to generate embedding function for every single cell of that particular column. Okay, uh, perhaps I can go and show you. So this is how my data, so these, uh, this is the column which I generated embedding and it is holding the embedding for these details for every single row. Okay, and then next function is get relevant data. So like I said, there are scenario or it may be the case that your CSV is too huge. 
in that case we cannot pass the entire csv to llm because of token constraint and the pricing uh, pricing constraint so in that case you just need to filter your data based on the relevancy like which all uh, rows are more relevant to the query user's query and that is uh, that is what we are doing inside this function so we are saying get me relevant uh, data based on the similarity now for similarity we are having these helper functions the first one is for vector similarity and the next one here we are just comparing this and this function will give you the relevant documents based on the uh, based on the vector similarity so it will take like i said it will take your question here get relevant data will take your question and the same question will be passed to your uh, similarity search so based on this query or the question it will give you only the relevant ones and this relevancy is triggered out or figured out by vector similarity so i will go ahead and run this as well okay and here comes the prompting part so this is the context and this is almost the same prompt which we have seen in my earlier video and here we are saying you are a shopping bot and AI assistant for my online fashion store, Dummy Fashions. Your role is to assist customers in browsing products, providing information and guiding them through the checkout process. Be friendly and helpful in your interactions. We offer a variety of products across uh, categories such as women's clothing, men's clothing, accessories and not what or uh, whatnot. Feel free to ask customers about their preferences, recommend products and inform them about any ongoing promotions. So this is what we have. This prompt actually I got it from yeni 95 zzs blog. And I tweaked it a bit, but yeah, most of the lines are from there. And then I'm saying uh, just take this as a system prompt and add it to the context. So context is nothing but the messages which we are trying to construct. Next, we have a collect messages which will take users question or the user's query. And we are grabbing that user's query, pushing it into a content part of the user's role and then we are making a call to our LLM. So this LLM will take this entire context. So this context will hold our system prompt as well as user prompt and the response, previous responses from the assistant. So we got the response and what are the response we are receiving? We are pushing it back to our messages so that we can maintain a context like what is happening since this conversation started. So let's run this as well. Okay, so now we have few questions. So first question is, do you have t-shirts? And this I'm passing it into the collect message. And like I said, collect message needs few things. So first one is the user query and the relevant data from which it needs to answer. So the relevancy is, uh, we got it from this function, get relevant data. So let's run it and it will tell you, do you have t-shirts? Yes, we do have t-shirts. Here are a few options for you. So this t-shirt price this this t-shirt price this so these are the things or the t-shirt is let me know if you need more information about any product or if you would like any recommendations based on your preferences okay let's say uh, i'm looking for a green size oh sorry a small size green color t-shirt for a man and what it says so these are the two lines which are same as just the query i'm passing and based on the query it is figuring out the relevant document and then passing it to the llm so here you can see the green color Parksman t-shirt price is 629 rupees. Okay, the, this t-shirt is available in small size. It features a trendy printed design and a comfortable polo collar. So you can add it to the cart, proceed with the checkout. So all these instructions it is giving because we mentioned that make sure to give the required instructions. So now I'm saying as a user, great. I also want to check if you have any table placements. And it, if it has, it will come up with some. So there are two, both are of 899. One is mustard and blue and another one is multicolored. So let's go ahead and order them, talk about the multicolored one. So I'm saying, awesome. I will go with multicolored placement. Great choice. It is a fantastic option and here are the details. These placements will add a vibrant touch to your dining table with their multicolored prints and more description is provided over here. Now let's go ahead and ask how can I buy my two items? It should come up with a set of instructions of like checkout and all those. So 
add these two items looks like it messed up something here we need to tweak our model a bit but okay so let's we can talk about these instructions so add the items to your cart by clicking on the add to cart button once you have all the items added you want to purchase your cart so these are the instructions you can follow and at the end it is telling you that review all the details and click on the place order and submit order button or submit order button to complete your purchase if you have any further questions or need assistance at any step of the process please don't hesitate to ask happy shopping so till high extent it is working very very good we just need to tweak it a little bit because sometimes it is like this scenario it just picked up another order although we placed some other order so these are the things which we can tweak it easily by changing our prompt little bit but the overall of uh, overall idea is to understand how can you read your csv query your csv maintain context between what is going on in your previous question and the response and how you can summarize your or close your discussion so i hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me come know in comments what all other use cases you are looking forward for thanks for watching